Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. So boy, have I been procrastinating this morning. Oh my goodness gracious. So I've been up since 5-ish, maybe about, you know, 15, 20 till 6 and it's now almost 9 o'clock and I've been meaning to do a video all morning and hadn't gotten to it yet. So I kind of got distracted with cleaning out my closet again. Because it's like I get a pile of crap and instead of putting it where it needs to go or figuring out where it needs to go, I shove it in the closet. So yeah, that was a hot mess. It looks a lot, a lot better. Um, I do still have a lot of the fabrics out of there, so I'm thinking about maybe making some fabric bundles to go in my Etsy shop because I need to get rid of some of this stuff. So I guess it'll be kind of a fabric de-stash uh, if I can get myself together to get it done. So we're going to work on uh, my Sackett Tim Holtz journal. And it is a little bit smaller. Let's see. It looks to be about, I don't know. What is it? Well, if you do the uh, material, because it does stick up a little far, it is an 8 by 5 um, So I just got some sorry silk here that I threw on there as the closure. So we will go ahead and get it out of the way. And I got this beautiful Tim Holtz fabric. Absolutely love this fabric. I got several different kinds because I do have waiting in the wings right here two smaller Tim Holtz journals that we're going to do and these are going to be about six by four and a half for these two smaller ones so yeah I just had a lot of Tim Holtz stuff so I decided you know why not just make journals and I was also inspired by um, Tracy Fox so thank you again Tracy um, yeah, so here's the middle. So I guess we'll just start out with what we need to do first. And I've already stuck in um, pockets and stuff what we need to decorate or what's going to go in it and what we need to decorate and embellish. So we will go ahead and just get started. I guess I could get in camera so you guys can see this nonsense going on here. So we are just going to distress around this somewhat hopefully it won't look too terrible go ahead and do both sides so we're going to leave one side plain um, and then the uh, for journaling and then the other side we will put a few light decorations on it we're not going to go too crazy because it's got to be able to slide into that pocket I hope you are all doing well today is a beautiful day here in Georgia and again I have been up since the um butt crack of dawn hope nobody's offended by me saying that um yeah and have gotten nothing done and didn't even okay didn't even watch the news to see exactly what the weather was going to be today so there's that so i'm just going to pull out some of these and lay them around because we'll be using probably a good bit of these um get out a few more right in here I love these little things for these um, tiny things here these were supposed to be spice holders and it is pioneer woman my oldest daughter had actually gotten it for me um, for Christmas one year so I decided to bring it in my craft room and actually use it let's see I like these sorry guys use it as holding some of these little small things Love you. All right. Have a good day. Um, Nine to five. Tonight, yes, okay, because I know he's got like two doctor's appointments. He's got to leave work early, so. Okay. But he should be done. He should be done. He should be done in plenty of time. Okay. All right. Love you. Love you too, babe. Sorry about that. My daughter is scooting on out to work. So, okay, guys. Let's see what we want to do with this. Um trying to think I have so much stuff over here and this is my little Timmy box I tried to call myself being organized but we have this I guess we all know how that goes maybe I'll put that down the edge you see I was gonna look I was thinking I thought I had um, what was I thinking oh yeah 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 this right here let's maybe use a little piece of that Yep, guys, I see a lot more um, Timmy journals 
coming in my future. I'm just having so much fun with this. And you guys know I love Tim Holtz anyway. I'm going to tear that out. See, I kind of want that on there. Looks about perfect right there, doesn't it, guys? I need to get me one of those um, baskets that Rachel uses. And I know um, Gail had gotten one. Um, I believe Gail bought hers and Rachel made hers. And I went over there and uh, Rachel actually has a YouTube video um, showing her making that basket. And guys, that is not for me. Um, but then I also went over to... I'm going to tear this here. The site where Gail got hers because I think she left a link and I just can't spend that kind of money on that right now. So I had to forego that for the time being. So maybe we can um, save up some Etsy shopping funds and that could be next. Oh, that's going to be really cute, guys. Yep, I'm going to like that. And then maybe we can stick something down here at the bottom. Okay, what do I need, guys? What do I need? I need glue book. Glue book and some glue. But yeah, it's beautiful. The sun's shining. It seems to be really nice outside. I only went out um, briefly earlier when Mr. Spencer got up. And guys, he his birthday was April the 10th. And, um, my little man is getting old, and he is just about completely blind with cataracts. That's cute. Can't hardly see, but I think I've told you guys before, you know, the vet said he would be just fine. Um, a lot of dogs that are blind actually thrive and do very well kind of cute I think I'll do that oh um so yeah they said just not to um not to move his bed not to move furniture you know things of that nature so they because they actually um remember um yeah so I mean he's still doing good but my only concern right now is he sleeps all the time He's in my craft room now in his bed, guys. If I could turn the camera over there, I would. But he's just a snoozing away. And he slept. Um, I don't need that, Lori. What are you doing? He slept extra long. It's like, you know, with each day that passes, he he sleeps longer um, in the morning before he gets up. So that's, you know. I love my baby. He was born in... 2017 and I got him at eight weeks old as a puppy so he is my he's my man he's a sweetheart he's been a very good dog so yeah oh and he went to the groomers last week too all right, guys, I think that's good for that one. Awesome. Okay, what's next, guys? Oh, I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to grab those. So I have this tag already in this vellum pocket. Um, I bought this that way, and I apologize, but I don't. It was from an Etsy shop, but for the life of me right now in this moment it may have been ACA oh man I don't know but yeah so I just made some villain pockets because I like that paper pad on that side and wanted to be able to see that um, a little bit without you know covering up too much of that page Okay, so now we have a tag, and I know what I need to grab, and you guys may think I'm crazy. Well, yeah, I am crazy, so I'm going to 
There's that. I apologize, guys. I'll be back over there in just a second. Let me see which ones I want. I think these two. So you guys know I don't do a lot of sewing, but in the other um, journal, which I did a lot of sewing in these, but in general, I don't do a lot of sewing. So the little pieces that you have left, and I don't have any more left because I put them all in the other journal, of thread, you know, that just falls around everywhere. Um... I saw somebody keep those. Um, so I decided to start keeping mine. And I also decided to start keeping my um, uh, little small pieces of... Uh, and yes, I'm rolling this off, guys. Really, I've lost my mind. But you'll see where we're going with this in a moment. Okay, where's this end out of this? Oh, there it is. Um... So, yeah, I started to keep the small bits of my um, uh, embroidery floss, too. All right. So, I got, got this cream color. And then we have the black. All right. So, there we go. We have that. So anyway, so keep these. So what I'm going to do is the same thing that um, I did on the other. Oops. Going to need my Arlene's glue. It's the same thing that I did on the other one. So let's see. The other one turned out really well. Um, get this kind of... Ever how. So all we're going to do is put some glue down and then we're going to glue this down here. Yeah, I think it came out cute on the other one. So we're going to do it. Let me get out a wet one. Told you guys, I believe I spent forever cleaning my pink mat. So yeah. Okay, so we're just going to get some glue on there, and then I'm just going to spread it around because I think that works out better. I found. Okay, and now we will just get this, and then just start smushing it down. Hopefully. on that glue see where we can get it to stick see. and then we are going to take And find us one of these to just put down like here in the middle and I think that one will work I think it's cute it may seem a bit crazy but all right so let's distress around the edges of this Y'all, I do have a dentist appointment today. I am so nervous. I hate going to the dentist. But I have a tooth on the bottom on the left side that needs some attention, like now, um, before I end up needing a root canal. And she said she may get in there and see that I still need a root canal, which I don't want because not heard very good things about root canals and I already have one in the front that on my last visit she said needed one and have always bragged about how good my insurance is where I work and only pay $12 a week guys for my medical dental prescription and vi uh, vision $12 a week um, is all I pay is Blue Cross Blue Shield um, and it's always been really good however 
for whatever reason, I have lost my top to my glue. What did I do with it, guys? Can y'all see it? I have no idea. I think I have another one. Oh, did I throw it in the floor, maybe? Nope. Okay. Let's see. Yep. I have another one right here. Don't worry. Throwing stuff in the floor. There you go. How about that? That one. Um, so, yeah. But my insurance on that root canal in the front is only, they said, going to pay $44. You know what? Let's look for um, a label. Yeah, it's only going to pay $44. So, that leaves me for one tooth, mind you. With the porcelain crown and all of that. Um, that's cute. Yep, I think I like that one. Uh, I still have to pay almost $1,600 for one tooth. So, of course, when they said that, I'm like, no. I need to Etsy shop. No, no, no. I like that one better. Um, so yes, who knows what we're going to do there. I haven't decided yet. Um, because like I said, that is a whole lot of money. So anyway, I have a dentist appointment today. So since I'm a little baby who freaks out, she actually, my mom is going to come over. She's going to come over later. My appointment's at 2. Or I meant my mom's going to come over earlier. <clears throat> and she is going to take me to my appointment because um, since I do freak out my dentist actually called me in two volumes which I've never taken before uh, and I had to take one last night which I did at bedtime slept amazing um, and then I have to take the other one like an hour before my appointment so about one o'clock but in order to do that uh, I had to have a driver I could not drive, or I cannot drive, so my mom had said she would come over and take me, and I'm also going to ask for the gas, guys, so there's that, maybe I can make it through it, and, you know, just pray, I guess, once she gets in there, I don't need a root canal on that one, because she said it was possible, that's why she wanted to go ahead and tackle that tooth first so yeah I think I'm gonna tell her since it is in the back if it needs a root canal just pull that sucker out I mean if I'm gonna spend that much money on a tooth it's gonna be one in the front okay so we need to let that dry but that's that tag and I think that's really cute and we may come back and put a tab on there um, of some sort either fabric or um, a well tell tab or something like that. Alright. So that is going to go in that pocket. I think that's cute. But we're going to leave it out so that glue dries. Okay, next. What do we have next, guys? Let's see. Um, so I have this little pad. I ordered these oversized, roundy, fatty shaped like me uh paper clips uh they're really awesome i like them uh, i was hoping to get something in like um uh, an antique look but rose gold was all they had in this size so i just got it but this is that little flippy pad that i made so it's good so we're gonna leave it there i just wanted you guys to see it and let's see i think i need some stamping somewhere Let's do good, just like I like it. Stamp that off a little bit, okay? So that just gave that page a little something. something. 
Um, okay, we have this tag. I know it's pink, guys, but it's uh, avocado dyed, and it's really pretty, so, you know, never hurts to stick a little pink in everything. Oh, guys, I hear the birds singing outside. Yesterday, yesterday was Sunday, so I had to work later, so me and my husband sat outside for, I don't know, quite a while just listening to the birds, and... I had gotten my hummingbird feeders uh, put back out, and um, so I had to take down the actual bird seed feeders, and I had nowhere to hang them. So my husband actually went to Home Depot yesterday morning and um, got me another one of the, it's like a hanging basket holder, like rod, rod iron. Um, but yeah, we are using it to hang those. So we hung those. Got some bird seed in those. So, okay, I think I want that up there. Um, oh, I need something different. What is this? Why don't we do a piece of this here where that's perforated, I guess is what you call that, or how you say that. I think we'll do that. Just to protect that a little bit when you're taking the tag in and out so it can make that stronger so it doesn't tear off. So yeah, we got those up. So we have like so many birds. It's crazy. They were going nuts yesterday. I'm not sure why, but alright. Get this on there. that at the top because I am committed. Lord knows I need to be committed. Okay, we got that on there. So that's good. Now, I'm not sure if we want anything else. We have this little girl. I think I'm going to put her there. We're just going to go for it. Try not to think about it. Oh, don't tear her leg off. Try not to think about it too much. And she's pretty thick, so we're going to use our art glitter glue to put her down. Some glue down her little legs. Cute. Oh, yeah, what do you guys think? I like it. I think it's cute. Okay. Got that. have bent my needle all up that goes in my art glitter glue. I'm surprised I haven't broke it off yet. There we go. Alright, so let's see. What we have next... Okay, so this I was going to put here as a little pocket. Um, so let's go ahead and distress all the way around this. Get that done. And then we'll glue that down and figure out what to put in that pocket. The glue around here. Let's get 
that little hold. I think I know what I may want in there. Or one of them. I have some, um, let's see guys, this pack, this pack of goodies, and this is from Emily. Okay, well that's a little big. I wonder if it'll still go there. Oh, of course it will. There we go. And I have another one. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out another one. Get in there. Okay, so. So we'll start out by distressing around the corners here. Getting that done. Alrighty. Let's see. Wonder if Do a little collage on it, maybe. Might be all right, right? Let's get rid of that little scrap at the same time. Okay, got that. Now, let's see what we got in this hot mess over here. Some of these are Tina, but most of them are. Um, Tracy Fox. Yep, that's cute there. Can you hear the birds? Can, can you guys hear the birds? <laughs> Sweetest sound ever. this up just a tad here. There we go. I'll get that at the top. And as you can see guys, I'm not doing anything elaborate. Unless that's not me, I guess. Okay. We have that in there. All right, next. Okay, we have these two. I think I want to put something on. Uh, we need something on here. That's too plain. It's just screaming out, do something to me, please. Okay, I like that pop up black. Get that white edge off of there. Okay, we need something else. Um, let's see what else. What else? What else? What else are we thinking? Um, let's see if maybe, just maybe, we have a smaller label. There's one. You know, I think I'm going to do that, put cheesecloth behind it. Yay, yay. How about that? I did manage to find my roll of coffee dyed cheesecloth as I was rambling in my closet, calling myself, organizing it this morning. No, I did do pretty good, guys. for later. If we did it something like that. Um, nope. I'm going to see if it opens up. I think it does. 
Yep. Oh, of course, now I got two pieces. Yep, I think we'll do that, guys. Okay, let me go ahead and just dress around this before I get sidetracked and forget. And I think once we get this done, we're going to call it a video because we are at um, about 30 minutes. And then the next video... Um, Let's see, this one's going to air. When's this one going to air? Tuesday. So the next video on Thursday, we will just pick up where we've left off right here. How about that? Okay. So now we'll get this on. See where we may need a little bit more glue to kind of tack those down a little bit. Well, that's cute. I like it. Yep. Cute. I do like it. Let's get our number seven on there, our Tina number. Oh, voila. That's cute. I like it. Yep, guys, so we didn't get a whole lot done. Um, oh, yeah, that's cute. I like that there. What do you guys think? Yep. All right, guys, so we got this journaling card done. That's one of the Rolodex cards. So we got that in that pocket, and then we got this tag. Oh, I need to sew around that. Okay, I'm going to leave it out. I need to sew. I need to go ahead and sew around the other one as well. So go ahead. that's the other tag I picked out. So I'll go ahead and get that sewing done. Take my black thread back over there. Okay. So we got this tag done. Then we got this pocket on and decorated. And we got this little tag decorated. So in the next video, we'll pick up and we're going to embellish this a little bit. And then we will decorate those. And I'll go ahead and have that sewing done on this. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me. Uh, I really do appreciate your support. Love you guys. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.